Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Antonio Goncalves with 712 rating versus What Do I Do with 633 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video, and it's going to be Edison format, we're going to see What Do I Do when the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and they will decide to go first 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it, opening hands, we got MST, Heavy Storm, Fault Roll, Saber Hole, Starlight Road, they have Giant Trinade, Necrogardena, Gold Sark, Dark Horus, Allure Darkness, and then Dark Greffer. So, I actually need to read over Dark Horus real quick. Okay, so it's a level 8 Dark. Once per turn after resolving a spell card that was activated during your opponent's main phase, you can target a level 4 Dark Monster in your graveyard. Special summon that target. This card must be faced upon the field to activate and resolve this effect. Okay, okay. I feel like this is going to be really hard to actually summon, but it is a level 8 dark, so it does work with like Trade-In, Allure Darkness, Dark Refer, stuff like that. Um, then they're going to go Gold Sark, go Banish the Future Fusion. Future Fusion, okay. Um, oh, because this is a dragon and we're playing Future Fusion, okay. Drill Dark Creator, Phantom of Chaos, uh, Banish Dark Horus. We actually have the combo here if we want to go ahead and just rip our opponent's hand which i think would actually be good to do because we have future fusion coming back soon we also have necrogarden uh so we have like a huge power card coming back yeah they just submit the feet they don't even reveal what deck they're on there's honestly just there's almost no point because it's going to be so hard for you to beat that future fusion that's coming back but going on to the next game now we are going to see x sabers go first we got X Saber, Full Home Knight, uh, X Saber, Galahad, Call the Haunted, Saber Hole, Full Home Knight, and then Raiko. They have Wyvern, Dark Refer, Dark Creator, Norlas, and then Rhoda. So I actually need to read over this one real quick. Uh, so it says If this card attacks an opponent's monster, this card gains 300 attack during the damage step only. Okay, so up to 21. Nice. If this card is attacked by an opponent's monster, it loses 500 during the damage step only. Then, uh, when this card is selected as an attack target, you contribute another saber to negate the attack. Okay, okay. Uh, so normal summon, set, the cyber hole, and then pass turn. Uh, they draw into Necrogardena, activate Rhoda to go search out Dark Refer, and then discard Norlas to summon out Dark Refer. They're going to go ahead and saber hole to get rid of that, and then normal out Dark Refer. And then Dark Refer effect to discard and go dump. So they're going to discard the Necrogardena. And then go dump a Red MD. And that's for the Wyvern that's in hand. Yeah, okay. And then attack. Uh, I mean, they're just going to negate it, right? Yeah, I was going to say, there's really, like, no point of attacking. Well, I guess there is to get its effect through. Okay, okay. To get its one effect through. They draw on the Rescue Cat now. Okay, and we go to normal summon out the X Saber Galahad. Yeah, not going for the rescue cat, and then attack. Uh, decides to let it go, and then attack with the full knight. Okay, main phase two synchro off into an Arabellum. Set call the haunted pass to draw the dark creator. They do have the five darks in the graveyard, so dark creator. Uh, you know, a 23 body free to summon. And it can summon back from the graveyard for relatively free. Really good card overall. Uh, effect, Banish Dark Greffer, Summon Red MD. And then we will just go Battle Phase, Attack over the Arabellum for 100. And then Red MD to attack directly. Pass. I just think this card is always so cool how it's like a one card commitment to getting like close to 5,000 damage like almost every time. Or you could use it to like... Phantom of Chaos, or Dark Refer, or even better, like Armageddon Knight if you have that. Uh, we got Fault Roll now, Normal Summon Rescue Cat, Effect, Tribute, they said Meow, bring out two Arabellum, and then Special Summon out, Fault Roll, Effect, Special Summon back out from the graveyard. We also have Call the Haunted, um, so Effect, bring out from the graveyard. This is just, this is a combo, this is what you want to do, go in the Gotham's. Uh, then we're going to attack over the Dark Creator, Gotham's attack over Red MD, and then this card can rip. Um, well, I guess, oh, true, you would just want to do Call of the Haunted here now, because then this rips one from hand, and then we could just Tribute in main phase two with this, and then just rip the last card. So, Tribute, Rip, Pass, 
They drew the Dark Creator. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, and they didn't Necrogarden uh, the Arabellum because otherwise Gotham's can just like rip anyways. Rip the hand anyhow. Uh, so now they have Dark Creator which can just be summoned. But I'm not seeing how they're actually outing Gotham's for the time being. But I guess they don't have to out it. For the time being, we're gonna summon this out in attack mode. Let's say this, yeah, this doesn't lose attack or anything. Dark creator, summon out dark creator. And then they said one of them was properly summoned. Yep, dark creator into red MD set going to check ruling. Ruling on what dark creator? Uh, I I think it's a very simple ruling. It just says must first be special summoned from the hand. So, that's just simply how it works. Um, yep, must first be special summoning. Want to verify it can be special, but yeah, you're good. And then Red MD and the Wyvern. Uh, Red MD, go ahead, beat over the Fault Roll, and then pass turn. That's why I was saying, like, they're actually, like, kind of good. They don't need to out Gotham's. Their hand isn't there, so there is no ripping the hand because they don't have one. They just have a field with a few really good bodies on it. Uh, but I wouldn't even say, like, the Dark Creators are really good bodies at this point in time. They're just... No, actually, I would say they're really good bodies. They got 3,000 defense. You want to out these cards before they keep bringing back. Set Raikou, pass. They draw Norless. Okay. Um, and then Red MD, attack Raikou. Raikou, pop the Dark Creator. Mill 3. Pass turn. Draw Hamster. Gotems, attack over Red MD. Necrogardena. And then set hamster pass. They draw card destruction. Oh, they're using it here. What's their one draw? They draw giant tornado. Doesn't do anything. Uh, they draw dust tornado, starlight road, attacking the hamster. Hamster set Raiko. And then beat over Raiko. Raiko pop red MD. Sure. Set the giant tornado pass. They draw T prison. So just tons of traps now behind this Gotham's. Uh, beat over Wyvern. And then set pass. They draw lure. Activate Giant Trinade, bounce everything back to hand, which, like, they're not even going to be that mad about because they get the Call of the Haunted back. As long as the game doesn't end here, they can't be mad about that. Um, well, I guess if they get hit with a Norlass and they lose all their cards, then maybe a little bit. But a Lure, draw Gores, and a Wyvern. Imagine the Phantom of Chaos there as the draw. But also, they didn't have to admit defeat, right? They could have just banished Gores, set Wyvern, pass, and then hope that they just draw into Phantom of Chaos then. Yeah, I really don't get the point of admitting defeat there. That's like one of the best things about playing the Norlass deck. I play Norlass a lot. I haven't been playing Dragon Norlass, um, but it's still like the same thing. They could just set Wyvern. The opponent, all they have is Gotham's. So they just go battle phase, beat over Wyvern, and then, I don't know, hypothetically set four pass. Because, you know, they had three set, so probably a Judgment or Starlight Road somewhere. Set four pass. And then you draw Phantom of Chaos. They have to have an out to it. Not a, Most traps don't actually stop Phantom of Chaos. Um, so that means it will probably go through decent chance. And if it goes through, then you just restarted the game. With a Wyvern in your graveyard and a Red MD in your graveyard. You're only at 12, so you're hoping they don't top deck anything crazy. But you also get a Phantom of Chaos draw. So, I don't know. I think it was worth staying in that game. I think that's, like I, like I said, one of the best parts about Norlass is you play so many power cards. You have so many good top decks. You have game resets. Uh, we got Trap, Dust Shoot, Deep Prison, Call the Haunted, Saber Hole. And then X Saber Arabellum, they have Card Destruction, Gold Sark, Wyvern, Plague, and Dark Refer. And then Phantom of Chaos, because the deck just has so many good top decks, like Dark Creator, Phantom of Chaos, stuff like that. I mean, they play Future Fusion too, Gold Sark, Banish Future Fusion, Normal Dark Refer, Effect, Discard Plague, Go Dump Norlass, Pass, Draw Hamster. And then they're going to go Normal, the Arabellum. Uh, set the Saber Hole, Trap Dust Shoot, D Prison Pass. They draw Heavy Storm. Nice. That's going to be good. Activate Trap Dust Shoot, hit back Phantom of Chaos. And then Heavy Storm plus one. And then Wyvern to go Battle Phase, beat over the Arabellum. And then Dark Refer to attack directly. 
pass, draw D prison, and then one out of two on future fusion. Uh, set the hand, pass, they draw Dark Horus, then add back future fusion. Okay, activate future fusion, put them on have a response. They don't, so go ahead, dump five dragons, uh, dump two red MD, two wyvern, and then a dark Horus. And then battle phase, dark refer, attacking the hamster, lose a hundred, they get to go set Raiko, wyvern, attacking the Raiko, Raiko, pop, dark refer, and then mill three. Um, they also forgot to take their hundred. And then they're trying to go end phase summon, but... Am I dumb? Didn't they just normal summon out Wyvern this turn? I'm like, fairly certain, right? Main phase, activate future fusion, dump. No, they didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yep, that was last turn. When they attacked over the Arabellum. Okay, pass, draw Arabellum, normal summon it, and then synchro off with the hamster. They said, lol, forgot I added it in real life, but not on here, though. GG's. Oh, so maybe it was, like, Black Rose or something, or Ancient Fairy. Oh, uh, you know, Ancient Fairy in defense here is a body. And then they have, like, Call the Haunted D Prison. So maybe that could have helped them stay alive for a little bit longer. Just put the opponent on, you know, getting out to it, which they do already have in the form of plague but put them on actually out of it because we do have two back row but it looks like they're just gonna go ahead and admit defeat this is ancient fairy it was ancient fairy okay yeah so it didn't matter i mean realistically the opponent had the out to it but okay sure so they had the out to it they just had plague they just had to actually commit to it and then they also had like red md to summon back multiple red mds effects to summon back because this is the new text, but the text in Edison didn't say that you can only use the effect of Red MD once per turn. It was just like a soft once per turn per copy. So if you have three Red MD on field, you got three Red MD summoned backs that turn. So they could just bring out multiple, multiple huge bodies after going for the Brio 2. So it's like discarding the Dark Horus from the hand. That just never mattered. That's not even like a cost really for brio that's like sure discard it summon it back out from the graveyard cool uh but seeing how long the match was the match was about 14 minutes long and we do end up seeing the sky scourge norlax uh dragon deck end up beating the x saber deck uh which i think is fair i think it's fair i do think x saber uh they do have like saber hole book of moon Stuff like that. So they have more outs to like a Phantom of Chaos in the Norlast than most decks. So they got that going for them in this matchup. But the opponent was able to start off very strong here. Getting access to Dark Refer and Gold Sark in the Future Fusion on the turn one. And with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.